you like this, maybe? Yeah. Trying to find the bag that goes with this because I recognize this strap. It's long shawl. And this looks like it goes with the Le Pliage Neo, I think. Well, here's a cute fossil. Yes. You're not going to know what this is, though, Ashley. Earth. Guys, I got a North Face jacket today. It's purple. <laughs> Pink interior. Do your job! Oh my god. <laughs> Go do your hack ish. <laughs> got a pink, like, uh, puffy material inside. Really nice. Ashley, stop looking at me. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Let's look on the tag, actually. What's in it? It's not downfill. 100% nylon pocket interior. Really nice. This shirt's really cute, too. Let's check it out. <laughs> Just back. What are you doing? <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> That's so creepy. Can I help you, miss? That's actually so creepy. That was like the grudge scene. I'm just watching. Do your job! <laughs> and then this shirt, of course. You guys won't know too much about it unless you're from Winnipeg. Another flood of 97. Super cool. I don't have this graphic yet. I have a few other designs, but not this one. So I'm happy with it. Look at the sticker underneath. So I think it's dead stock. Really nice. <laughs> Ew, I don't want to see myself. There, I'll fix it, actually. Yeah, it's like... I was honestly, I couldn't talk that whole entire time because I was nervous on what you were doing. So, you didn't get much. Did you show everything? Yeah. The Flood of 97 t-shirt. Yeah, they're not gonna, unless you're from Winnipeg, they're not gonna care about it. This shirt, I was showing them, I think they would like it. What do you think of it, Ashley? I like it. It's cute. It's that mountain brand made in the USA. They always do the, like, these tie-dye t-shirts, but like nature graphics on it, or like mythical graphics, all these kind of things. And then the North Face jacket, of course. It's nylon pocket lining. Nice. Yes. Good for you. Just didn't get anybody pregnant. Oh my god. I found the top for 450. Good deal. <laughs> What's that red belt? Bendy. Oh, uh, Baragamo. Michael Kors 150. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you <clears throat> this bag. It's made in Italy, leather. It's kind of like drummed leather. I'm just kind of confused on how this clothing, clothes, clasp, ugh. Clasp closes, what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know what what's going on there, but it's such good quality. You can use it as like a crossbody or but I don't know. That's kind of puzzling to me. Baby. everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well it's your girl miss philly we went thrifting today as we do monday to friday usually well actually tuesdays i usually don't go thrifting but today daniel took a day off thrifting with his parents a uh, grandparents so i am his backup bitch so um a bag of the day is a little lemon mini festival bag with the little micro nano backpack <laughs> so we're using that today we found some, uh, I mean, today was better than yesterday. Yesterday when we thrifted, literally I found nothing except for some Sorel boots that didn't end up fitting. Um, 
So, and I didn't even spend that much money today in order to return it, exchange it. Um, thank you to everybody who sent me a 30% off coupon for tomorrow. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, Alexander, for the 30% off coupons. Um, mwah, mwah, mwah. I appreciate it. Um, so we'll be able to utilize that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so the stuff that we got today was... Here is a brand new Longchamp strap. It is the gray with silver hardware. I recognize that end right there. Um, so I knew that it was Longchamp. And I couldn't find the bag to go with the strap. It wasn't there. So I don't know. Maybe the bag will come out later in the week. Who knows? But we have a strap. This looks like it belonged to the Le Pliage Neo the nylon one <laughs> anyway okay so we got that um got a few other things i purchased this argan oil of morocco weightless dry oil mist it was only two dollars it was only two dollars guys um i mean it smells good it smells like morocco argan oil i don't even care the erotic precious formula with argan oil of Morocco helps to rapidly infuse hair with something. <coughs> Veil of hydration giving color and highlight multifaceted glow. I don't know if this is supposed to do something to your hair. I don't know if someone mixed in some hair remover. Who knows if I'll go bald, but we bought it for $2. And then we picked up this Burberry fragrance, a little pouch. I love the little zipper pull. It's Burberry it does say parfum on it or fragrances but I don't know I feel like it's cute and I wanted to use a two dollar off because we use because you can only use a two dollar off if you have a five dollar purchase so this was three this is two ended up being three dollars for both there we go there <laughs> cute little pouch it is what it is um we picked up this jacket because it was only how much was this it was only seven dollars it's a north face little parka for a kid uh size small girls so a seven eight year old girl it's a good it's the 550 so it's a really good warm parka <laughs> it's in great condition guys so seven eight year old i don't know i bought it for like 750 so i mean i thought that was a freaking deal Cute little jacket for a little girl. Hello, there we go. Or if you're a small person, maybe it'll fit you. Um, okay, so we got two bags. This bag, I wasn't familiar with the name of it, but it's Cochinelle, um, which in when I saw it, it immediately, I immediately thought of Bruno Cuccinelli, which it isn't, but they actually saw this bag on Farfetch and for expensive. I think their bags retail for 500, 300 to 500, sometimes on sale for like 300. Um, but it is very well made. The zipper pull is like amaze balls. Look at that zipper pull. I love that color. It's kind of like a mustard uh, yellow. And even like the hardware is all good. Double stitch over here. It's in great condition too, guys. Barely used. Um, and the inside has this really thick cotton that I've seen Chanel do and Gucci. They do like this very thick cotton and it says Cochinelle. Like, look at that label. But, um, yeah, it's expensive. They sell it on Farfetch. Farfetch, you know, it, they sell high-end uh, brands on Farfetch. So yeah, I thought that was a really, really cute little bag. Yeah, it's really cute. Reminds me kind of a Mar Marc Jacobs vibes. So the, this bag I kind of was torn up on because, oh, we paid uh, $9 less 20% off. I feel like I'm going to sell this for $120 because that's way cheaper than Farfetch and the color is beautiful. I feel like it's going to be in, it's in great condition. Okay, this bag I was a little torn up on. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, but just the quality is so amazing and it's beyond guys it's from a brand called young camel 
never heard of the brand had to google it it is heavy guys heavy look at that beautiful color there are areas of darkening but it's not a big deal i don't think especially since i feel like it's a little bit more vintage you have the hang tag here look at the like how well made this is look at this rolled handle oh my god this is like all the beautiful hardware look at that the hardware is heavy and chunky you have a Oh, what does this say? All products are made from carefully selected hides tooled by expert craftsmen leather in Italy. Damn, motherfucker. Look at this too. That is so beautiful. It is a backpack, but yeah, it looks like, oh my God, like this leather grain is amazing. Like you could see that veining in the grain, the thickness of the strap. It's a high quality bag so i had to grab it the inside is just like that and then the tag says all products are made from carefully selected hides tooled by expert craftsmen's leather in italy look at the little zipper pull right there marked young camel have you guys ever heard of this brand young camel because i've never guys i never have this this veining here reminds me of my salvatore ferragamo one and that's like really, really high quality leather when the inconsistencies in the leather are shown. Um, just because I feel like it's just more of a natural, they're they're preserving the integrity of the leather. Does that sound like I'm talking about out of my ass? <laughs> Does that sound like I know what I'm talking about? They're trying to maintain the integrity of the leather. Bitch, you know what the fuck you're talking about? I, get a little, I do a little bit. Um, but yeah, this bag is so and in, in crazy it's crazy the quality of this um i don't even know uh daniel pulled up some comms he said that he said these sell for like 300 400 dollars i believe that i'm gonna do some more research and you know throw up what comps are but this is a heavy high quality bag guys and i don't know just oh it's 20 dollars less 20 percent off young camel never heard of the brand but it's definitely it's kind of like that other brand that i thrifted i never heard of aunts and uncles i think it's what it what was called or uncle and sons one of those brands it, like high quality but this is way better than that guys way better than that i don't really have luck with backpacks but i think this one will because just the beauty of it the quality of it is just unparalleled it's just so well made and yeah Anyway, guys, that's all that we got today. Nothing crazy. Nothing that's going to make us a millionaire yet. But we have all week. We have discounts to use on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about something, but I don't feel like I really want to put it out there. But... If you know, you know, and a few of my people that I talk to know, like Yvette, you know, Carol, you know, and I think that's it. Well, Daniel knows, but you know, and my best friend Michelle knows, but I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I can't talk to anybody because it's like, I don't know. So many people have important things going on in their lives. And then my problem is just so like not even a problem, but it affects me. So it is a problem for me. And in, in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't a problem. It's more like a mental problem. <laughs> but sometimes that's, that's what I crave, guys, is I crave having to talk to someone. Like I miss having friends that I can pour my heart into or pour my heart out to and them actually caring about how I feel. And I feel like, I don't know if it's just all up in my head, but I don't really feel like at this moment, anybody cares about what I'm feeling. Like I know you guys do to some extent, but I'm talking more of a like a hardcore, gotcha back, ride or die kind of thing, you know? And yeah, I have friends who are ride or die, but I don't have that friend where I can really a hundred percent rely on and count on and be there for me when I need them and vice versa you know because I feel like I would be that kind of friend to someone and that's why I think I've talked about this I, I'm getting deja vu but I, like I've talked about this to you guys multiple times where it's like that's why I feel like I have always wanted a boyfriend because when you have a boyfriend or a partner they care about how you're feeling they care about your well-being they care about you know your day-to-day -day, you know you know and 
friends care, but like to an extent because they have their own lives, their own relationships, their own family, their own shit going on. But if you have a partner, you guys are like one ish. So he cares about your well being, what's going on, your day to day, how you're feeling. And sometimes just being able to pour that out to someone and have it reciprocated back to you that they care is something that I haven't experienced in a long, long, long time. I don't even know if I've even genuinely experienced it where someone actually cared for you that much. <sighs> I don't know. Mental health to me is just as equal as, uh, equally important as physical health because you could be physically healthy, but if you're suffering up here, you know, there are cases where people are just can't handle it and when you are so overwhelmed under the pressure of whatever it is as minute as it may sound to someone else those pressures and issues are valid to you because you're the one dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis that's why if i when not if when i become a millionaire like i really want to support a lot of mental health organizations or even start one on my own because i feel like mental health is just you know it's just it's not taken as seriously and when people when people say that they're struggling with their mental health or they're going through something and people kind of just like eh, you know everybody has every, every everybody goes through something and yes that's that's true but it's important to you and you need i feel people need to feel validated and not just brushed under the rug or not i don't know I don't know where I'm going with this conversation, but that's how I'm, I'm feeling right now. That's how I'm feeling right now. Cause I didn't even want to thrift today. Like I just, I just, I'm feeling a little low. Like even, like I'm already tired physically. Now I'm feeling exhausted mentally. I haven't had to think about anything from a mental, emotional standpoint in a while. And it's been really freeing. It's been really, you know, but when somebody in your life kind of like breaks news to you and you're kind of like, uh, did you really have to tell me that? Because like, how does that affect me? But then now it's affecting me that you told me that. I know it's, I'm, I'm going on a tangent and you're probably not understanding what I'm talking about, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just venting, I guess. I know someone just broke like news to me and it just is kind of like, it doesn't really affect me, but now it's affecting me because of our history. I don't know. I'm just, I get to woosa is what I need to do. I need to spend the rest of the day decompressing, relaxing. Oh, if you haven't checked out this new um, TV show on HBO Max called The Last, The Last of Us or The Last One of Us, one of those, based on a, on a, a uh, video game, it's so good. The first and first episode was good. The second episode was even better. Um, it almost reminded me of when I first started watching The Walking Dead and I was just so into it. Um, it's basically like a, an apocalypse kind of TV show where this, de uh, this guy is trying to get this girl who's immune to a virus somewhere and the journey that they're on it is very zombie-ish, but I don't think they call them zombies. They're more like infected with a disease, but so good um the only shitty thing is that they release an episode every week so it's not like there for you to binge all it's literally an episode every sunday and it's like uh, i have to wait but i guess it's kind of like normalcy back in the day when we had to do that watching regular tv anyway um also i'm kind of switching internet service providers because right now i'm with shaw and they um they we're charging me $100 a month for uh, internet and TV. And it was a promotion for two years. I did not know that my promo ended in October. So since November, December, and January, they've been charging me $150 plus tax. And I was like, uh, nobody sent me a notice in the mail. How am I supposed to remember that my freaking promo was up? Like, you never, I talked to you guys in December. Nobody told me on the phone that my promo was up. So I was kind of like annoyed with that pissed at that so i might transfer over to like this other company called bell bell mts bell mobility whatever it's called um they have a promo going on where i'll be i'll, I'll be paying 94 dollars a month less a 15 dollar off credit for the year less a 10 dollar credit for the duration of the contract and i get all the channels that i had internet and i also get crave for like the duration of my contract, which is nice because I'm paying like, I think 
$14 a month for Crave, which is expensive to me, but you get all of the HBO library, which I like. Um, and also they're going to give you a $250 Visa gift card. So I'm probably going to switch over to that. Anyway, guys, I don't know. I feel like everything is so fucking expensive. Like, internet is freaking $100 to $150 a month. Your cell phone bill is like $60 to $120 a month. It's just... And the thing is, you rely, you need this. It's not like it's freaking uh, a luxury anymore. Cell phones, data plans, internet is a necessity in this day and age. It's no longer a luxury because every single freaking government agency or whatever is requiring you to go online and fill out shit. And if you don't have the internet, then what? You know? Anyway, that's my two cents about that.